We start with P. Niggity. All right. His is uh, entitled Bitch Whore Chef. <laughs> oh, I can see where this one's going. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Burr. We are here in the servants' quarters of the Kumia Mansion speaking with Anthony's whore bitch chef. Hello, whore bitch chef. Can you give us an example of a meal you might cook for Mr. Kumia? A bigger pizza pie. What does Anthony eat for breakfast? Whore bitch chef, how do you respond to Bill Burr's allegation of an affair between yourself and Mr. Kumia? Well, I guess that settles that. Here comes Mr. Kumia now. Mr. Kumia, do you think I have a future in radio? Do you really think so? I don't think so. Mr. Kumia, do you have any advice for me? Mr. Kumia, what are you doing with that shotgun? This record wasn't supposed to end this way. <laughs> See? There you go. Come Short, on. sweet. He, he, he did the voice right. That's what we're looking for right there. That's it. It's a great example. Well, P. Niggity came up with a Space Hitler thing done the Dickie uh, Goodman way. Of course it is. Let's take a listen. See if we could uh, get through the, the whole thing. That's the goal when you send this stuff in to us. Ah, right. To get us to get to the end. Hit it. This is London calling. Here is a news flash. The German radio has just announced that Hitler is dead. Repeat that. The German radio has just announced that Hitler is dead. We're here in outer space with a 20th century dictator in a 21st century rocket ship. Here's Space Hitler. Space Hitler, you killed yourself near the end of World War II. How is it that you're traveling through outer space? I don't know! Very interesting. Yeah, I just want to stop it for a second. I like it already. <laughs> of course, Jimmy likes it. Can you back it up slightly if you can? <laughs> well, the guy's not using the... We want... If you guys are going to do these, we want you to do... you the... got to use the excited Dickie Goodman voice. you got to do the Dickie Goodman. Yeah. Mr. Space Hitler. Right, exactly. He's just like... Overly hey, excited. We're Space here. Space Hitler. Uh, you died in World War II. Why, why are you in space? No. I'm here on the street talking to Space Hitler. There you go. Anyone Have some can do excitement. That voice. All right, let's uh, get back to it. P Niggity. How is it that you're traveling through outer space? I don't know. Very interesting, Space Hitler. You are rumored to have exterminated six million Jews. Can you give us your reaction? <laughs> Very funny, Space Hitler. Is there another group of minorities you've had your sights set on for total annihilation this time around? <laughs> What were you thinking when colored athlete Jesse Owens did so well in the 1936 Berlin Olympics? Here comes what? Benito Mussolini, or should I call him Space Duce? <laughs> Benito, anything that you'd like to say about Space Hitler? He's my favorite Hulkin! Space Hitler, how did Eva Braun take the cyanide on that final day in the bunker? Any thoughts on racial integration? That's all the time we have for today. Farewell, Space Hitler. Okay. Alrighty. Look, he got some really bad songs in there, which is part of the bit. Yeah. Y you can't try to do it well. You got to put some real bad things in there. He uh, he gets a passing grade. Passing grade. Better than Dickie Goodman. Yeah. Give him a C plus. C plus. I don't like his Dickie Goodman impression or lack thereof. Yeah. You need to do the Dickie Goodman impression if you're gonna do these. Yeah. It's got to be very exciting. Yes. And, uh, yeah, he had a couple of bad ones. That was good, though. <laughs> He's my favorite honky. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third one that came in overnight is from Anthony's brother, Joe. Brother Joe threw one together. Look at that, earning his uh, money. He did one on uh, Andrea Yates. Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> this su one suggested this is brutal. <laughs> Strap in, kids. <laughs> this one is brutal. Good evening. I'm here taking a dump in the Yates bathroom with Andrea and her five little fuck-ups at bath time. Hey, little Yateses, what's going on here? Splish, splash, I was taking the bath. Mrs. Yates, you crazy cunt. What was that you're just whispering in your daughter's ear? 
Hey, you little Yates girl! Where are you going in that tub of death? <laughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I couldn't hear you with all that water in your little lung. I'm going down, 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 down. Mrs. Yates, we know you're nuttier than a shit after eating 25 Snickers bars, but what do you think your children are? The three little fishies in an itty bitty pool. Mrs. Yates, what are your children's names? Sully, Jenny, Isco Bibble, and Boopy Doopy Doop. Don't you realize they're the fruit of your loins? Three little fishes and the mama fish you too. Uh oh! The little Yates boy isn't looking so good. What's that coming out of his nose? Tiny bubble. Tiny bubble. Oh Andrea, God. I noticed you're using a very gentle shampoo on their little heads. Is that Johnson & Johnson's... Well, in that case, maybe you're not the worst mother in the world. Hey, little baby Yates, how did you feel as mommy squeezed the last bit of life out of your tiny defenseless body? <laughs> Andrea, you kooky homicidal twat. How come you showed less emotion through this whole ordeal than an Asian hooker? Well, Mrs. Yates, you've finally done it and all five of your children are dead. What are you going to do when their dad comes home? Thank you for allowing me to take a shit in your den of death, Mrs. Yates. Any final words before I wipe my ass and get the fuck out of here? Well, that's it. Till next time, Dickie Goodman, with no comedy on my mind and a big fucking bullet hole in my head. Oh, my God. Okay, terrific. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, of course... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Wow. That was brutal. The next one came in from um, <laughs> Rob C., mm -hmm. Mr. Norton and Friends. <clears throat> oh. His uh, Dickie Goodman remix for the Opie and Anthony program. We're here in the Opie and Anthony studios talking to co-host Jim Norton. Mr. Norton, I'd hate to ask, what is that in your chest? Let's wait for a snack. It fits on your back. It's love, love, love. Oh, Dog. sweet Jesus. Why on earth would you do that? I'm a scat man. I don't really understand. You mean to tell me that... Oh, shit all over your face, kid. <laughs> that is revolting. At least you seem to have a lovely lady with you. Excuse me, miss. What's your story? I'm just a sweet trans <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, if you don't mind me saying, Mr. Norton, you're looking quite thin. What's your secret? Exercise? Diet? AIDS. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Did you just say you had... AIDS, AIDS, AIDS! <laughs> okay, I guess I did hear you. So what do you do in your spare time as you slowly waste away? You just sit at home and masturbate. <laughs> With me now is Martini Steve, the producer of The Opie and Anthony Show. So you've successfully duped the ONA fans into doing your production work for you again. How do you keep pulling this scam? <laughs> Young smarter than the average man. <laughs> Steve, many of your promos feature deep voice socialites, houseboys named Ramon, and extreme violence towards women. How do you explain this? Cause I'm American psychopath. Ramon, hybrid cars are for faggots. Just arriving is executive producer Ben Sparks. I'd hate to ask, but what happened to your hair? Here comes a story of Oh god, you're hurting and jerking like crazy. And what is that bulging out of your shorts? I've got big balls! I've got big balls! Is there any new gossip you'd like to tell us about, Mr. Sparks? Perhaps a new rumor about Tom Brady? Oh god, I can't understand a word he's saying. So anyway, I, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Sparks. I'm a bit distracted. Mr. Norton keeps staring at me. Mr. Norton, why do you have that look on your face? I wanna sex you up. Are you trying to say you wanna rape me? <laughs> no, wait, Mr. Norton, that's not the way this record is supposed to end. <laughs> Help! Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. You've got the Excellent. Now that's the way it's done. Not Excellent. bad. He could have had more of a Dickie Goodman delivery, yes. but I won't hold that against him because his material was very strong. Yes, definitely. That. Uh, Who was that? That also gets a passing grade. Rob C. came up with that Rob one. Rob C., bravo. Yes.